Welcome back to The Lemon Factor. I'm Chad, and today we're going out with one of our two project cars, the 2019 Honda Accord 2.0 Touring. And we're going to Denver, Colorado to Dyno Pro to Dyno test our latest modification. So in one of our previous videos, we installed the PRL Flex Fuel Kit. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link in the description below. But we installed the kit and we're now able to run ethanol or E85 in the car. And I'm using the K-Tuner Stage 2 tune, the off-the-shelf tune. And I went into the tune and I enabled the ethanol. And I want to see, I think we all want to see, exactly how much horsepower, how much torque the ethanol tune can add to our car. If you're new, we have the PRL high volume air intake on the car. We upgraded the intercooler with the Mishimoto intercooler, and we upgraded the downpipe with a PRL high volume catted downpipe. We were using the Faribault Stage 3, and we have some impressive gains with that combination. You should definitely take a look at some of those videos in which I test each one of those modifications, both on the dyno and in many cases, I take it to the track and test it. But now today with the new PRL Flex Fuel Kit, I wanna see exactly how much additional horsepower and torque we're gaining. I can tell there's something. It feels much more responsive. So if you're interested in finding out how much additional horsepower a Flex Fuel Kit could add to your 10th generation Honda Accord, then stay tuned. Before we continue, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you're made aware of future videos. Remember, we have two project cars on this channel. We have our 10th generation Honda Accord and we have our new 2023 Toyota Supra. I wanna point that out just in case you subscribe and then you're notified of a Supra related video, you won't be confused. So let's quickly go over what we have done to the car so far. So we have a PRL high volume air intake. We have a Mishimoto intercooler. We have a PRL high volume catted downpipe. Running the flex fuel kit, we are using the K-Tuner Stage 2. Like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you really like this video if you found a lot of value in the information contained in this video please consider hitting that super thanks button at the bottom of the video
Just a reminder that these graphs are standardized and taken into account various atmospheric conditions like humidity and air temperature. With all of our dyno poles, the torque has varied considerably. I would say that is heavily contributed to the fact that with such a small turbo, the turbo spools up very quickly, the peak torque comes on very quickly, and that can be influenced by the starting of the dyno pull, the rolling of the throttle. Jumping to the second graph, what's really nice is you can see that we've gained in torque and horsepower across the power band. With that said, I'm surprised we didn't gain more. I think in part that may have to do with the restriction I have on our octane level. I only have access to 91 octane. Also, I am at high altitude, less oxygen, putting somewhat of a limitation on how much we can get out of this tune. Thumbs up. The next step in this is to get the Farable Stage 4. So that is Farable's flex fuel tune. So we'll put that on the car and we'll see how it compares. So again, if you haven't done so already, please definitely subscribe and turn on notifications. But with that said, I think we're done for today. Thank you very much for joining and until next time.